I actually went to college, studied political science. Really? And um, yeah, I was very much a sort of an activist back yeah. then, even. And um, went to American University, and that didn't seem to work, so I studied sociology. Okay. And at that time, they were talking about sort of large macro structures and how people would live in mm -hmm. like communes. And I've actually lived on a commune, and right. nobody would do the dishes. Yeah. And so we all moved out, and so I thought, well, I'll study psychology because then I can get inside people and figure it right. out. And um, as part of that, they said, well, you have to take communication class. So I took an interpersonal communication class, and I was, I was hooked after that. Right. It just seemed like a kind of both a theoretical and a practical place. Mm -hmm. So I started studying communication and went to Northwestern right. for, to finish off the undergraduate degree. Okay. I studied there with a fellow named uh, Charles Berger, who did interpersonal. And then, right. I went down to University of Kansas because they, they had somebody I wanted to study with, Sarah Kiesler. Fortunately, as soon as I got there, she left um, yeah. <laughs> for another position. And, uh, but I found uh, Kim Giffen and Bobby Patton, uh -huh. and they were studying group communication. So okay. I became fascinated with that and focused on that. Got the MA and PhD there, and then went to Wayne State University really? for four years in Detroit. I that, I think. Mm -hmm. And then Loyola University for ooh, about 16, 17 years. Then I went down to the University of Memphis to chair the department, mm -hmm. and now I'm out at the uh, University of Colorado at, at Boulder, right. So uh, where I study primarily applied communication, mm -hmm. um, communication and community studies in particular, right. social justice, communication activism, mm -hmm. uh, teach small group, um, do quantitative and qualitative research. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of different things in, cool. in the discipline. Well, originally, um, when I was an undergraduate, I think it was either junior or senior year, mm -hmm. um, Chuck uh, Berger um, said, oh, well, you've got to come to this convention with me. Right. So I said, okay, I didn't know what that was. Yeah. So um, I went with him, and at that time, a lot of the Big Ten schools sort of dominated the landscape. Right. And so they'd have like 20, 30, 40 people from each school mm -hmm. here, uh, a lot more travel funds yeah. than, than now. <laughs> uh, and so, I, you know, and I didn't, wasn't able to take advantage of it all, but I went to some of the panels mm -hmm. and, you know, listened in, and then when I went to Kansas for the graduate degree, right. that's when I really started to focus on, yeah, being involved, all the professors went every year, so it was, you know, our home base in terms of that, and I just started going regularly and then participating at various levels. Right, so how long have you been involved? Well, that, the first uh, one that I went to as an undergraduate, that was, Probably around 74, oh, wow. and then I went to graduate school in 75, okay. and I think I've been coming to almost every one since then. And communication really starts in the central states. I mm -hmm. mean, all of the Big Ten programs, um, those, that was the genesis of communication studies, really, I mean, at least during the time period that I was right. coming up in the field. And so um, it always was sort of the, had the biggest stars. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, for, at least in my eyes, um, the West was sort of more underdeveloped, um, younger crowd there. Uh, South was more rhetoric oriented, mm -hmm. and um, I didn't know much about Eastern. So I think it was the network of people, um, the receptivity that I got mm -hmm. here. Um, I think that's what keeps me coming back to. Um, this is my, you know, home mm -hmm. in a lot of ways in terms of um, I keep coming back here. Um, for the kind of social support for, I would say both professionally and personally, yeah. that, you know, um, there's a place to present my work, and uh -huh. I'm sure it is for a lot of other folks, and hopefully get some feedback, you know, not always, but, um, and then I think to just get renewed. Right. Uh, you know, we work so hard, and I'm on a computer 60 hours a week, yeah. but mainly by myself, uh -huh. so, I mean, to be able to come and take some time off from that, um, network with people, both in terms of talking about scholarly things, but also just catching up. Yeah. Um, there is a certain sort of renewal when you go back, and that's how I feel, yeah. and feel kind of refreshed. Yeah. I'm tired uh -huh. at the end of the conference, <laughs> but also, you know, kind of intellectually and right. personally motivated. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's what I get.